Hey there, I'm Critzy Bear. Welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Last episode, I established that I wanted to go after uh, this beautiful creature, the Mantis, over here to the west. It's one of the great monsters that I've made note of in my travels. Uh, one of the grand beasts of my lu luxurious Garden of Eden, where I am fortunate enough to live. And uh, I was thinking maybe today I might finally test myself against it. You know, I have the ability to summon insects... I don't know if that's going to be good enough, but, uh, you know, best option I have, I think, is to summon bugs. Tell everyone to guard. Anyway. Sorry. Guard here. Okay. I was, uh, I didn't recognize uh, what she replied with, so it was any Anyway, so, uh, just some minor preparations are in order, and uh, I think worst case, I can sacrifice many hundreds of centipedes in order to uh, hang back and poke it with my spear, do bleed damage, right? Well, it, it'll work one way or another. Um, egg, right. Egg? No, no eggs. I don't need them anyway. Uh, I would love them, though. You know, actually, I don't think I need them anymore at all, because now I can make armor for these guys, and I am actually planning to now. Anyway, uh, right, out here, I wanted to heal my friends, right? Yeah, I wanted to practice my healing spells, just so that uh, it's more combat-ready. Right now, I can heal somebody, uh, but it would be kind of slow. It only heals about 28... Oh, 30 now. Now we're getting somewhere. I'm going to do this until I'm tired. Anyway, uh, right now it only heals 30 HP, which, uh, when com when used on a creature, the scale of a dinosaur, I shouldn't have left my door open. All of the warm air has been sucked out of the building. Now I have to shut it and wait for the dinosaur heat to rise again. Never mind, it's already warm. <laughs> Stand next to the fire, warm up. Anyway, God, what was I trying to say? Whatever, the uh, the dinosaur healing dance here, uh, which I'm practicing so that it's more effective in combat, uh, is, is, a t is an age-old tradition, and eventually it will exhaust me, or at least that's the hope. Yo, I can make, s I can do six in a row now. Nice! See, and this is why we're practicing, so that it's more effective in combat. Now I can, uh... Heal more times before... Oh, and we're tired. Nice. Anyway, now I can heal more times before uh, needing to take a break or uh, completely ruining myself from the fatigue damage. I can probably cast at least one without uh, any issue. And uh, I actually have to check how fast I can get one out. Do, 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 do. It's... How many moves? 196 moves, so it's like uh, two attacks or so. Well, let me check how many moves per attack my spear has here. Spear. 137. So it's about like a heavy weapon swing. That's not too bad. Um, let me check the time. First of all, before I decide what to do, it's daytime. All right. You know what? I'm going to take one of my big friends. Maybe two of my big friends. I mean, we have full health right now. All right. Drink some water in preparation for our journey. Just as much as I can fit. And there. You know, just so I don't get thirsty out here while I exert myself. Let me wear my cloak. Right, I wanted to make a tent, didn't I? Any reason I wouldn't want to yet? It wasn't, wasn't I tanning a hide, too? I think I need one more hide, right? Shelter kit. Well, you know what? Actually... What's your rack? Two pointy sticks, two uh, spikes, one rope. Yeah, you know what? I think I would be better off hauling it all the way home. Even though I'm going to get frostbite doing that. Maybe I don't haul it home. Maybe, well, no, it's way too fast for me to kite it. All right, so let me grab the adults here. Has this one always been an adult? Uh, probably. Pigweed. Burdock. I'm sorry, d what? Oh no, I named two of them Burdock. 
Shoot. Uh, uh. Well, I can't think of anything creative right now, so just, uh. Dandelion the second. Uh, also. You stay here. You're too young. And you, you're too young. And you, you are. Crab grass? Where's my Cosmoceratops? There we go. Let's go. Let's roll out. We're gonna find a place to, uh. I leave the door open? Okay, good. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, you know, uh, next year I should make a real door. Just for funsies, you know? Just for style points. Anyway, so, uh, we're riding off to war. With my cold blood. Actually, were dinosaurs cold-blooded? I don't know. I feel like they're so huge, just working their muscles would probably keep them warm, even if they weren't warm-blooded, right? Okay, over here, we have prepared for this fight. All right, it's winter. Uh, it's not gonna rot. Cool. Jeez. There is the great mantis. The mantis. The ferocious cow-sized mantis was small, smaller than I expected. I expected it would be bigger. Let's go. We've got a fight ahead a fight ahead of us, boys. Perhaps I uh prepare them here. Tie you, tie you, tie you. Lead you so that you don't charge off. Tie you there. Alright. I've got back up. We're ready for you! We're ready for you! We're, we're ready for you! We're ready! For you! Attack! Okay, well, they're attacking. Let's see how well it does against those centipedes. The sprites are so tiny. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'll, I'll use this. No. Uh, H. There we go. Now we can walk, watch up close. There. How well will these guys do? Uh, damaging him. Heavy arterial bleeding. You know, and it might be safe to approach. I don't think I needed backup. I think this guy might be small enough. No, it's uh, running away. All right, let me see. Can I... No, I can't. All right, let me try to get behind it. Okay. Didn't need my backup, but it's, uh, you know, emotional support nonetheless. What do you have here? Praying Mantis egg case. No, I want to see. Can I do anything with that? I'll check in a minute. Yeah, let's do some stab damage. Seems like it might be too scared to fight back, so I'm going to get a little unarmed practice here. Yeah. Doot, doot. Get around her. Get around her. Get around her. Actually, I think she might be slower than me. I was so frightened. Much slower than I am. Nice. Yep. Yep. Scratch her up with my claws. Need to learn the Shrike style. Yo, level four? Level four, maybe? Is it effectively level four? No, it is not uh, due to rust. That's fine. Uh, I I have a... I, uh, you know, theoretically, I know how to fight. But uh, <laughs> in practice, I'm a little rusty, uh, you could say. There you go. Oh, you know what? I still have my cape on, too. Let me take that off. Leather cloak. There we go. Even though I'm a little chilly now. Let's continue bullying the mantis. Oh, I see. My uh, my, my centipedes aren't uh, helping me because it's uh, scared now. That's fine. I'm getting practice with it. Oh, it's running directly away from me. Nice. Get around it. Oh, this is excellent for me. 
just, uh, you know, harass it. Oh, I didn't even expect- Oh, nice! I can just hold this button! Let me go ahead and, uh, use my Triffid. See, uh, no, it's not gonna... I was hoping it would, uh, give me a more obvious boost to my stamina. Nope. Maybe, uh, wait a sec- Oh, you know, it's visibly regenerating. Just give her a second. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Just grinding experience. Unfortunately not dodging, though. I don't know if I can get it up much higher, uh, at least in a reasonable amount of time. Let me hold it down for a second and see how much my uh, unarmed goes up. I think three is what I was aiming for, anyway. Um, eh, I can hold it down until I reach level four, at least. But past that, I don't think I have enough patience. Maybe I just let her die like this, right? Maybe, maybe I, uh, maybe I make her suffer by uh, killing her with solely unarmed melee criticals. I mean, we're getting up there in uh, their frequency. Thirty-nine percent into that. We're also uh, approaching a level up on melee too. We're gonna need a great nap once we get home. You know what? I think I'm gonna drive her towards my Pentaceratopsis. <laughs> and we're going to uh, see if I can encircle her with my friends so I can just bully her. Move up this way, please. Thank you, thank you. Alright. I'd have to stop uh, wailing on her in a second here. How low is your health? Nice! Oh my god, one focus. I, I think I can brute force it. Good to know that these guys are afraid of pain, though. That's going to be great in uh, strategizing in the future. Go that way. Okay. Go this way. Nice! Oh no, there's going to be a, a, an escape. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Can I pray here? I can. Sorry, is there another one? Or is this one just getting brave now? No, I think, I think, uh, yep, yeah, we're, we're fine. Just, yep. Getting melee experience. My focus went up. Oh, I got the blood claw! B -b 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 blood blood claws, yeah! I got the blood claws! Uh, plus one accuracy, minus one dodge from attacking three times in a row, nice. Um, cut, stab, armor penetration. Per increased by 50% of dexterity. So that should stack nicely with the agility spell. Right? So now my agility is uh, 14. Let me try to get that bonus back up. Honed Claws. Okay, Honed Claws. So 50% of my dexterity, that's 8. So Cut, Stab, Armor Penetration, 8. Man, I don't know. I know vaguely that that's a good thing, but I don't know enough about Cataclysm's uh, inner workings to know exactly how much... I'm going to be doing to her. I mean, it seems like I can pierce three... Okay, if I cast agility, I can pierce uh, armor very, very slowly. Bleeding, bleeding, not stunning her, though. Okay, critical, not stunned. I think... Oh. Wow! All right, so this is actually a decent difference. Um, being able to take out my claws and actually uh, successfully kill something high in armor. We'll see if it's enough to deal with like uh, serious skeletons and stuff. Do, do you think I leave this here? I think maybe I leave the praying mantis eggs. Uh, let me see, can I use it for anything? Powdered eggs, I don't know, man. I think maybe I just leave them here. 
Maybe I, I start farming giant praying mantises. <laughs> uh, you know, if I had a, a proper cave, I actually would love to uh, occasionally go down there, slaughter some praying mantises to make their sinew into fabric. You know, if I can't farm textiles. Hey, everyone, you can come with me. Yep. Untie, 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 untie. I wish I had a spear strap, but uh, here we go. Time to go all the way home with four friends walking along with me. I wish I had my drum. Could uh, be recharging my focus while we're out here. Tired, cold, my feet are probably going to get frostbite, but the prey has been slaughtered. Beautiful creature. Truly terrifying. A foe worth writing about, if I knew how to read. Oh, right, I do know how to read. I, I have established that. <laughs> no, you know what? I stare at the ancient arcane diagrams, and, and they match the symbols I see in the dirt, you see. It's not, it's, not a, it's not literacy. It's dirt reading, you see. It's a form of divination. You know that uh, you know, triangle with the different dirt types? Right? It's like that. <laughs> I was going to continue on this, but I'm sure uh, nobody actually... Actually, I have had people request dirt lore in the past. Jeez! Oh, I'm about to stop myself... Yeah, yeah, footsteps is from these guys. I probably shouldn't go into I'm about to stop myself from uh, making up nonsense about dirt culture again, and, and then I'm like, oh, yeah. So that's why people watch me. <laughs> Wrong direction. Yeah, yeah, I hear the footsteps. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Ah, jeez. Ah, jeez. Maybe I should, uh... Tie him down before they smash my house because they're stumbling over each other. I picked up so many extra things here. I didn't mean to. It's going to be bright this season. All right. I uh, got to get all you guys uh, tied back down in the poop zone. <laughs> the uh, dinosaur containment area. You know what? Tie you all down just so you're not stumbling around while I'm doing this. Boop. Got to rearrange them. That one there, that one there. I am the herd master. See how gracefully I manage my steeds. Now I will give them all a, a nice little healing. Mwah, even though they didn't even get into a fight in the first place. Boop, boop. boop. And boop, boop, boop. Nice. How's my skill in that? Level 6, range 6, 32 healing, 196 moves. Eh, doesn't seem like it's getting faster, but it's decent. What's that? Oh, it's my atlatl. Shame that didn't work out. That was going to be my my cool weapon. Okay, back inside, I can take off my cloak and uh, take a nice nappy, right? Or, you know what, I'm going to wait until it's dark out. Nope, not that. My uh, spear is what I want to put down, and I want to put it down up there. Okay. Let's get warm. Mary, you can come with me now. You can help me do stuff if you want. Actually, I won't be able to tell if it's dark or not. Um, 16%. Been working on this for over a week, and it's only 16%. I made a mistake taking it apart in such a large quantity. I I wasn't thinking. Okay, it's it's bedtime. <laughs> That's how long that took. Okay, sleep in my armor, sure. I am my armor. I am the chitinous plated monstrosity. Sorry, I'm, I'm used to leaving out uh, the uh, intimate silent sections from just living Silty Clay's life. 
Okay. So. What's next? I wanted to make a pickaxe. Oh, I gotta butcher that corpse. I hope it's still good. Well, you know what? I just wanted the sinew from it anyway. I right, can probably make blood essence out of it, too. Oh, I should have worn my cloak. Shoot. Oh, I'm fine. Okay. I guess it's a warm day today. All right, so first of all, put my cloak back on. Yoop. And doop. And I see that there is too much stuff to even fit on the tile. So, let's see. Out of these, uh, what do I want to keep? Sinew. Oh my god, it's so laggy, too. Oh, Jesus. Right, this tile. There we go. Sinew from that tile to this tile, and there shouldn't be any more gas sacks. Was is that how it supports its weight or something? I don't know, man. There's so much chitin here. Right? How much exactly? Like, over a thousand? I feel like I'm definitely going to be able to make the uh, armor... Armor. Chitin elephant armor. How many? Can I make three? Oh, fuck. And I'm gonna have some left over. I thought you said this thing was cow-sized. And I can make three elephants worth of armor from it? I don't know. 252 chitin is a lot, but... I don't know. Butchering seems like it's got some kinks to work out still. You know what? Well, there's no batch time saving. Would my friend have enough skill in the first place to help me with this? Let me see. Uh, you... Talk to you. Let me check your abilities. Uh, you need level 7 tailoring. Level 3 fabrication. Holy shit, you actually have that. You have level 7 tailoring? All right. Level 4 fabrication. Oh, maybe I should teach her that before I, I go at this great endeavor. Oh, it's so laggy in this spot. I know you can't actually feel it. Uh, oh, oh, maybe you can. Did you see how it's... Alright, watch the uh, search in the bottom. Alright. <laughs> Oof! Wow! We have too many items on this tile. I need to get rid of some of this stuff. There's like refuse and stuff out here. Oh, and it's frozen. It's not going to go anywhere. Jesus. What do I do about this? Uh, gas sacks. Can't make anything out of it. Just bubbles. Gross. I would hate to have gas bubbles in my... ...meat, in my flesh. You stay here, I'm about to do something dangerous. Uh, I'm gonna burn all this stuff, we're gonna make a trash pile. Shit's ridiculous, there's too much stuff here, dude. I'm gonna keep the chitin, for now. Uh, maybe I should make boxes, yeah? Let's see, uh, 200 strands of endo chitin. Can be made into chitin powder, which I do want, but I did keep some inside anyway, so I don't think I need it. Alright, there's that. I wonder if I can burn it. I don't think so. I think you can only do bones, right? Oh my goodness. Scrap some meat and stuff. Let me see. Oh, you know what? I wanted to make the meat into essence, right? Blood essence. Blood essence. Nope. From the dirt? Ooh, we can actually make a significant bit. Where's my bowl? Actually, can I make the chalice yet? Ooh, I just need gold. Well, I believe I have a bowl uh, for now anyway. So that's good. Wooden bowl. Nope. I need a clay bowl. Did I never make one? Bowl. No, there's a clay bowl. I guess I never sorted it. That's fine. Where is it? It's wooden bowl. Wait, did I have two wooden bowls? There's a clay bowl. 
Got it. Didn't even have to pick it up. And now I can do the ritual on the fly. No longer have to go inside to do it. First of all, before I make all that stuff into fire, let me make my blood essence from this huge body. Just sacrifice the whole thing. In the name of the spirits of the holy loam, I commit this kill entirely to thy name. That gives me 38 blood essence. That's going to last me a while. That's a decent bit of crafting, decent bit of potion making. Um, you know, I think I might need copper, though. Which isn't too hard to get. I have my hunt on my, my hiking backpack now, right? Oh, no, I hauled some copper home from the cave, right? I'll check. Let me drink some water. So let me check. Copper... Did I never put it back? Bull copper. Copper? I never did. All right. It's way over here. Very well. You know, I probably need to... Uh, well, wait, no. Copper can be melted down in a fire. I was thinking I might need the forge anyway. Copper. Two, three, four, five. Ooh. 18 minutes. Let me shut the door since I don't need it in here. Copper. Yeah. All right, there's a bunch of copper. How much exactly? 21,000? I'm never going to need copper again. All right. Um, Spear of Pestilence. You know, I do love spears. I do love spears. Um, Lebert Patterns couldn't carve from chitin. Using this will blast nearby enemies with frost and summon mutant vermin. While wielding it makes movement easier can also be used to place a rune focused on purely on summoning vermin when something steps on it. Whoa! This thing sounds excellent for my playstyle. Is there any reason not to use it? Does it make me sick? I could see that. Well, I mean, I have an inner woods diet. I'm, like, eating nothing. Well, I'm eating nothing but smoked meat. That's not necessarily good. Fuck it! I might need to make vitamins, okay? I might need to take vitamins. I'm thinking this, okay, uh, an hour, you know, just, uh, leave it there, uh, for now, right? Okay, leave it there for now. What's the thing that I, I was going to make that I got distracted by? Right, I was going to teach her how to, uh, craft a little bit, right? So, we've got that there. Uh, we got our blood essence. We need gold for a chalice. Uh, you can only make it in the forge? Not on fire? No, I'm pretty sure fire is hot enough to melt gold, so... Well, let me check. Do we have any native gold? Gold? No. But we have two red potions, so... 1,000 copper into 800 gold? That's a decent bit of crafting. Sure. I have to leave the door open for it, unfortunately, because it has to use the forge, which is reasonable. It is metal. Again, I am pretty sure regular fire is hot enough to melt gold, though, right? I should really make reference notes, because I keep... Every single time I play with magic, I always end up losing my books and uh, not be, being able to... Sorry, not being able to do anything, because uh, you can't learn a lot of these re recipes. You need to have the book or reference notes, which is uh, what these are useful for. Hmm. Anything else I need to do before I get to work on the big things? It's still morning out, so... Right, burning these things, that's a big one. Right, everything to over there. No, everything to over there. Butchery refuse, fat, meat... Droppings. Oh, boy. Actually, wait, I want to save the stomach. Right? So, put that over there. Everything. Uh, leave out stomachs. Not scraps. I was wondering why I couldn't make uh, more blood essence. Oh, no, that stomach's rotten. Shoot. 
Well, now that stomachs are gonna freeze, I'm gonna keep stomachs if I can. Rotten stomachs, yep. Yeah, that's causing a bit of lag, so... Let's go ahead and burn it. There you go. Ready to the spirits. And it's a nice, healthy fire. Nice, healthy bug bonfire. Yeah? Sear it into the dirt. But its ashes scatter throughout the loam. The whole kill has now been devoted. The arcane gods. That's how I get my shaman power. Uh, you know, I'm tired, but it's like the middle of the day still. I think I'm gonna craft. Yeah. Craft, spirit pestilence, sure. And then go to bed after? Probably. How many calories have I had today? None. Alright. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Alright, let me get that spirit pestilence. There it is. Ooh, it has a sprite. Nice. Uh, it's unfortunately it doesn't look like it's actually in, uh, tipped with a sting, but uh, let's see, medium blocking ability, crit, impale things, basic spear stuff, reach attacks, 30 piercing damage, slightly faster than the spe a steel spear, uh, does not seem to have combat durability. Um, what kind of essence does it take? Regular essence. Ooh, that's a bit of an ask. But, um, now we've got the offering chest. Oh, not enough gold. Wow. All right, well, red potion. Red potion. I'm going to need to start making alcohol before I can make this, which isn't too bad. I did find a book on winemaking, didn't I? And I'm also going to need to be able to extract blood, too. I wish there was an easier way to, like, extract blood into a big container, right? Like, just having a barrel of blood around. A whole bucket of blood. Because <laughs> as it is, you need to, like, convert your own blood into a blood receptacle, then manually empty it into a blood container. One at a time. Okay. Okay. Well, I have, uh, eight. What? No, I have Vessence, right? There we go. I only have five. Regular Essence can be got a three Blood Essence. Just Candle and a... Just Candle and Bowl. Oh, how many do I have? Five, six, seven, eight, nine? Don't like that I had to use some of my Blood Essence. But I need more gold. I don't have any red potions anymore. So what am I going to do? Unless I have more red potion in the larder. Do I? Of course not. Of course. Can't even make it out here. Okay, so... Silver. Native silver. Ooh. Hang on. Yo. Alright, what uh, what else? Aluminum, hematite. We have a ton of stuff here. Casserite. Tin. Oh, I need tin. Tin. Yo, I love tin. Let me make some tin powder. Alright, uh, what else? Aluminum. Aluminum ingots. Fuck. Yeah, I love metal. I forgot to render any of this. I just kind of took it home and left it. Lead? Sure. I mean, I'm, maybe I'll need to make a gun... S I'm sorry, there's not enough room? S or is there not enough charge? What, what was it telling me? I mean, I, I have kind of been leaving stuff here for a long time. Maybe I should sort it. You know what, I'll sort it after I'm done crafting these things. Also, it's getting dark. I'm going to go ahead and take a nap. Try to skip to daytime. I should start work on the elephant armor. Then, um, 
then make rags. So that I can finally make some type of sock. Hey Vivian, I guess you got the chair first. Okay. Water. Oh boy, water day today. It's frozen already? It's not even I haven't even made it yet. It's frozen already? Jesus. Oh, I'm gonna have to, like, pick up the pot and manually heat it now, aren't I? Oh, well, at least it comes out hot. All right. There. Right. Anyway, so now... I, I guess open this so that I can make these real quick. Oh, daytime. Nice. Tin powder. They're just doing this so that I can open it back up. And my friend is... Ah, it must have been what it was warning me about. Not enough charges. Put my spear down. Nothing. Really. Concerning. Um. I don't know. I should keep the last of my tainted bones if, uh, we're making, if, if we're running out. Actually, there's no real reason for me not to use logs and stuff. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I was saving them before because uh, I didn't think the dinosaur was going to burn forever, but it seems now like it is. But I don't want to fall into a situation where I'm I'm depending on a resource that I, I think is infinite. You know, that's that's basic, like, capitalist downfall 101, is, is, is over-exploiting a resource that you wrongfully believe will never go away, right? Dude, I'm going to, like, be a movie villain. I'm gonna, like, over-exert my eternal dinosaur fire. That's the kind of content you come to my channel for, ladies and gentlemen. My, uh, my industrial use of dinosaur fires. You know, I'm pretty much an oil baron at this point, right? I mean, what do they do? They burn dinosaurs forever in refineries, right? I mean, what is this, uh, if not burning fossil fuels in a refining area, right? I got completely sidetracked by that. What was I doing? Oh, fuck. Spear strap would be nice. Spear strap. So, nope, still can't make it. I'm not going to look into it right now because I just remembered I wanted to make Ella. Right, right, right. I needed to reload my thing. But right now uh, we're waiting for the clay. So let's make some elephant armor. Chitin elephant armor. Need thread. Where is the thread? I didn't burn it, did I? Oh, phew. I just didn't take it inside. All right. That's a lot of chitin. Yeesh. All right. I guess do your best. <laughs> you can do it, champ. Ooh, you're getting it there. Ooh, it's getting there. And we're inside the house. May I never need to touch that again. Oh, no. I put it with my stuff. Is it... Uh-oh. Now it's gonna lag every time. Oh, no. It's going to be a running gag now. What have I done? I've, I've, I've made an error. I've caused some kind of quantum... Some kind of quantum... I, I don't know. I can't think of an error name. But a lot of it should be going away real soon. Uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna craft them all at once so that my friend, uh, has an option to assist. Yo, she can assist. Alright, so that's a 20% speed boost on... All three of them, I think? So... It's effective- it's as effective as if I had crafted them all, um individually, but since I'm doing them all at once, uh, I guess the idea is that Vivian is able to work on one as I'm working on one, so we're kind of just hanging out all day, working on stitching together little bits of mantis to uh, make an, a dinosaur-sized coat. <laughs> I, 
wish I could tell you to work on the craft. Tell everyone to mount up, wake up, prepare for danger, relax. Well, I guess if I if you, if you're able to help already, I, I won't bother trying to teach you. No, not that. Uh, elephant armor. <laughs> oh, my focus. I don't know. Maybe I should do this slowly if my focus is gonna actually drain from it. How's this? Nice. Eat first. Oh no, I didn't need to eat. My weight. And isn't it nice having enough excess food that I have to worry about getting fat? That's my bloomery. No wonder I didn't think there was a charcoal issue. I was checking that for my charcoal levels in the other thing. Reload the bloomery. Oops. I don't think I needed to make more charcoal. And we're out of charcoal. <laughs> Oops. I, I guess I did need to make more charcoal. You know, I think I'm going to start another one. Eh? Logs. Two logs. I don't know. That's a rock. Uh, two, two logs and a couple sticks. Yep. Okay. Continuing. Water? Already made the water. Cool. Continuing. Right now we can finish the metal. Excellent. Tin powder. Cool. Ingots. Cool. Lead. Cool. I'm sure having loose tin filings in my house is not going to, like, make my dust toxic. Oh, well, I'm pretty sure um, having metal dust around, like, takes years to take effect. I know that it's a common cause of health complications in minors, and thus they only live to, like, 60 is uh, all of the rock dust that they have to inhale as, uh, by necessity of their work. Already eaten today. It is water time, okay? Water. That's cooking oil! You gluttonous fool! Can't trust him to keep his... Uh, keep his grubby hands off anything that is technically edible. I mean, he's eating lard... He's eating mutant meat. He's eating raw flesh. It's just, if I'm not paying attention when I'm eating, he will consume the least expected thing. And thankfully, in this case, it actually stopped me. A little tired, a little weary. This man making this elephant armor is an exhausting task. Oh, yo, my uh, talent ring leveled up. Nice. Now, uh, maybe I can finally make some, uh, some shoes that don't take rubber. Let me see. Anything new? No? Okay, cool. Okay. Metal leg guards. Well, I didn't actually see that the other... Yeah, I, I looked it up uh, in the data, and I think I recall that only chitin leg guards can actually block. So, well, that is uh, an interesting idea. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why can I only make panties now? Why is that a new recipe? What, I had to master tailoring in order to... Only a tailoring master can make a garment so delicate. An article of clothing meant to be concealed. Now that can only be crafted by a seamster's hand. Mm. A true master of the tailoring arts. Yo, how can, can I make my druid stuff yet? Shoot. I, I, I don't know what book it's in. I thought it was in To Master the Unknown. And it's not in Oaths to the Chalice. Man, man, I don't know. Maybe my skill's not high enough. No, I don't think so. I think druid stuff's like a level six item. For some reason, I barely ever see it, I, and I, I can never remember um, 
what book I get it out of the few times that I have managed to make it. Oh, uh, whatever. Okay, so focus is low. I am tired. Stop meditating? No. Time is middle of the day, but you know what? I'm crafting anyway. I think I'll go ahead and uh, practice my heal healing arts. Perform my shaman ritual. I got hiccups again. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to pray and double my ritual. Even though I'm getting frostbite now. Because uh, we're actually about to level it up. And I want to see how much healing we do now. 34. 100 moves per... Ooh. Oh, that's duration. 182 moves. I do think that's a little faster. Almost max level, which is when it really ramps up, at least in old versions. I think in uh, this version of Arcana, uh, it's been, like, uh, evened out so that things start a little more powerful. Used to be magic spells were, like, useless until you poured a lot of practice into them. Oh, my God. I think it might uh, be the coffee that gives me hiccups. Yeah, because I always have coffee when I record, and I always get hiccups when I, I I record, you know. Just transitive logic. If I drink coffee every time I record, and I get hiccups every time I record, transitively, it's most likely coffee that's giving me hiccups. Alternatively, it could be recording. You know, I'm sorry, moderate pain? What the fuck? Symptoms of scurvy! Yep. I thought nutrition was turned off. Yeesh! Alright, I mean, good. I saved these just for this situation, I guess. Yep. Eat some vitamin C. How many of these gives me my daily dose of vitamin C? 60%, so I only need to eat two of these to get my daily dose of vitamin C. Good to know. I need to eat fruit. 11%, 24%. I'm going to need to pay attention. Elderberry seems like the best one. Milkleberry's the worst. Blackberry's 9%. Mulberry. <laughs> Jesus. Mulberry's really good. All right. Yep. You know what? I'm really glad I dehydrated these plants. I'm going to start eating berries with my daily meals, which is not an issue. Sounds reasonable, actually. You know, sounds like uh, something people probably should, <laughs> should do. Jesus. Oh, you know what? And adding variety means uh, my I'm going to get happier from eating it. Nice. Yeah, nice. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's pr pretty cool. <laughs> Ouch, something hurts. What? What hurts? It didn't give me a message. Is it just the scurvy? It's probably just the scurvy. Beneath my helmet. My... <laughs> Ow. My gums bleed. But like... But like, I'm a person who be believes in dirt. <laughs> um, so... So like, I think, like, it's it's just a symptom of... Of, of, of like, <clears throat> I don't know, some kind of spiritual deficit. The earth did not like my sacrifice. It's punishing me for bringing it the mantis. It's not big enough. It needs a bigger sacrifice. Okay, so chitin elephant arm. How about I just uh, don't speak? We do this next part in silence. Oh, fuck. I was holding my breath the whole time. <laughs> I was really trying to get the hiccups over with. Sorry if I scared you. No, wrong thing. 
Oh, hematite though. Good to know. Hematite. Good to know. Okay. Big weed. Yep. Yeah. I'm getting the Cosmoceratops first because I feel like those guys are the easiest, are, are the most effective fighters. Oh, the final set of armor. Rise now. My, I, I was going to try to make a Urukai joke. You know, when when Saruman slaps their face, gives them their helmet or whatever. <clears throat> He's like, rise now, my fighting Urukai. Tell me, who is your master? And they go, Saruman. Right. Anyway, I was going to try to recreate that scene, but uh, instead, you just listen to me recount it anyway. So now we got an armored dinosaur. Pentaceratops is now a uh, fucking Pentacera unstoppable. Now it uh, Pentacera stops damage from occurring upon it. Centipede Matriarch, you fucking what? I'm sorry. Should I not have left a ton of centipedes hanging out? Oh my god, those are real centipedes. Those aren't my centipedes. Oh no. We need to take care of this. Oh fuck. I didn't know that was possible. Alright, let's uh, take care of the centipede issue down here. Uh, last thing I do this episode. You know what? I do, I do need sinew. No, I'm gonna take uh, my other two armored dudes. Unfortunately, I doubt uh, armor is going to help me stop uh, my little guys from running away on me, uh, or trying to boot me off and then running away on me. A smooth sumac. Cosmoceratops. No, no, no. I wanted a Cosmoceratops. D did I put it on another Pentaceratops? Well, whatever. I'll just switch, uh, I'll just switch out my Cosmoceratops for the other Cosmoceratops if I should need. I thought these were my centipedes this entire time. Turn, turns out we've been having a little bit of an insurrection down here. The centipede armies are trying to, uh, rebel. I need my spear, too. Uh-oh. I can't take these guys in the house. Uh, you know what? Uh, stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Um... I'll be right back. The Herdmaster will return. I just need my spear. The spear of pestilence. I don't really need it. I'm sorry. Wait, hang on. Uh, take off spear. Put on spear. Not a valid weapon, uh, but it's not telling me, like, you feel sick or whatever, so. I don't think that's what caused my scurvy. I think my scurvy was just genuinely me forgetting to eat fruit. Me just having a regular bad diet. <laughs> Eating nothing but smoked meat for a year. I see there's two matriarchs in this pack. Very well. You roll up on our territory, we roll up on yours. In positions. How much faster is it than me? Armored centipedes. Sorry? Why is there a whole fucking centipede army on my borders? Is this my fault because I summoned them? Like, did they, like, go off screen and come back as regular centipedes? I'm sorry, they are friendly. Why are my centipedes evolving? I don't think they're supposed to. I'm sorry, can I? Okay, so I can't mount the matri- They're mine! I didn't even notice! What the fuck? They are mine! How did this happen? They're not supposed to. Oh. <laughs> I guess I, I've somehow committed some great feat of- Are you attacking me or- This one's just my friend now. Oh, a anyway, sh did I commit some great feat of sorcery and manage to create permanent life or something? I don't even know how I managed to do this. This is not supposed to happen. How? How'd I? 
how do I run into these issues? I don't even know if this is an issue. Oh, is it maybe the spear? Is it a spear why? No. No, they're still friendly to me. Even this one that didn't see me put the spear down. I don't know, man. Maybe it is the spear. Uh, you know what? In lore, uh, in my head, uh, the, the vermin of the world recognized that I've, I've made a pact with them. I've made peace. Uh, I've, I've, <clears throat> I've acknowledged the vermin kingdom. Uh, I'm sorry, wait, hang on. Uh, just to confirm I know what I'm talking about. Vermin is no longer an animal kingdom, right? It's vermin and animal kingdom. Vermin. Vermin, uh, varmints. Varmints! <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, historically, 16 something uses derogatory term rodents and uh, disease carrying rodents. And it, ah, man, I can't find it, but I'm pretty sure uh, vermin used to be like a catch all uh, order for animals that like spawned quote unquote spontaneously that people didn't have a way to explain, right? Um, it's no longer an actual uh, animal kingdom. And I can't remember where I read about this, so I can't confirm it. Anyway, I mean, that's cool and all, I guess. Uh, I guess we're gonna... Instead of going after these guys, we're gonna go after the... Uh, the nearby wasp... Tribe. Wait, do they not want to leave their little nesting ground here? Did I somehow... Somehow created permanent centipedes, but they don't want to leave their nest. Shit's crazy. Now, where's the wasps? There they are. How much uh, slower is the wasp than I am? Much faster than me, in fact. Alright, well, I guess if these guys are friendly, just uh, <laughs> let, let these guys come with me. Yeah, see? They're going back to their nests. Or not. Come on. Come on! Come help us! Got some new friends for my uh, incursion down here, I guess. Closer. Alright, two steps closer. We're marching. They still don't see me. Two steps closer. Still don't see me. One step closer. One step closer. One step closer. One step closer. Waiting for it to come at me. I want your sinews. Jeez. And these guys blind, I guess. I gotta be less worried about approaching them. I can almost see this guy on my regular screen. Oh, he can see me. He's ignoring me, though. All right, let me tie these guys down, then. Oh, here it comes. Mount Pigweed, and just uh, hop off. See how I weave in and out of my ranks. All right. Can't penetrate the armor. Fuck, dude. My Triceratopses have become great. All right, uh, maybe I untie them and just let them go at them. They're not going to run away, right? Oh, holy shit. I think I can trust these guys in a fight now. Yo. Yeah, go at them. Uh, hang on. I guess I'll uh, mount Pigweed. Pigweed seems a little less aggressive. Oh, shit, guys. Uh, maybe don't go after that many? Oh. Diplosaurus also dying. Uh, I would prefer not. I'd prefer you wait until uh, I want to eat that guy uh, politely. I would I would prefer that. Thanks. All right. I guess I'll help you guys. Any of you damaged? No. <laughs> no. My guys are fine. You know what? I think I like this fighting style. <laughs>
thing. If uh, if I, if my Struthiomimus or col whatever I have, if my if my other guy was a little braver, I could have maybe uh, chased that one down. Oop! There's a body to take apart over here. Oh shit! Hey, yeah, help me, yo, yo! I can have him tank for me. Oh my god! These these guys have have like have had a usefulness awakening here. Holy shit! Get back here! The herd master will have a word with you, ruffian. Oh no, it's going towards my camp. Wait, did it bleed out? Nice. What are we going after over here, huh? Seems like you guys were interested in something. Huh? I don't see it. Saw there was a, a small dinosaur here, too. Oh, maybe that was my uh, Struthiomimus, finally. I'm sorry, you sent the beat on down here fighting on its own. Jeez. And I'm happy with my friends. All right, let's go inside. Fuck it. You know, I didn't think we were going to be able to, but uh, uh, fuck it. Let's just... Oh, there it is. There's the queen. Do I have to worry about the queen? You know what? I'm going to hop off. Uh-oh. Well, I did want to hop off, but my centipede is in the way. And, uh, now I have to fight. Uh, Watch Queen tries to swing, there's Cosmoceratops, failed. Um, let me see. I block a little of the damage with my right arm. I'm sorry, wait a minute. The queen bites the Cosmoceratops. Oh, I see. And it attacked me. I managed to block it, though, which is awesome. But, uh, bites my right arm. My right arm is fine. Am I poisoned from that? I am not. We're doing great. The air around my spear wavers with an ethereal force. What? What's that do? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what that did. Really interesting, though. Fuck, dude. Neat. In the wings? Sorry. Cosmoceratops doing fine. Uh, hits my head. All right. I got bit in the head by the Wasp Queen. I, I don't know. I think the Wasp Queen might not do much damage here. You know what? Drop the spear. We're going to take out the knife, I think. Draw your theme. We'll take care of this Silver Shrike style. Actually, might might actually be better uh, for this. Yo, I'm keeping the spear, uh, but I think I'm going to go with my uh, usual style. You know what? Fuck it. Drop the, drop the spear, too. I think it might be on its last legs here. It seems like it might be... Um, no, it's still hostile. But fuck it. You know what? I'm going to grind unarmed while it's on its last legs here. Uh, we're not taking much damage. Our gear is looking fine. I think we're... Oop! You sting me? No, just... My own pain. Actually, it might be because I'm hungry and tired. No, I think it might be safe to dismount. We're going to see if we can get dodging. Ooh, shit! All right. I would love it if I could mount my Cosmoceratops. There we go. Not an issue. Uh, cast healing on me. And there we go. Now, I saw something got damaged. Oh, it's just my underwear. Ripped. Alright, uh, I can't actually get close enough to get my tools. Uh, it seemed like riding the Cosmoceratops was actually worth something. I think my dudes might be tearing through the place. There we go. We're fine. Oh, hey. Uh, it's dead. Nice. 
uh, stop my bleeding. Decent practice. Underwear ripped a little bit. I have no way to repair it. Poison in my blood. That's fine. Um, piercing weapons, 97%. Wow. Melee, 64%. How's dodging? I really, really wish we could level up that. I think it might be my armor that's preventing me from learning it. You know, I do have my cloak on. Uh, let's see. Bashing weapons, 3%. Cutting weapons, 1. All right. Uh, level 4 unarmed attack. Uh, piercing damage went up a lot. We'll butcher it. We'll take an hour, uh, and we're going to have to drag it back home to get it. Hey, guys. Thanks for opening the way. Everything's safe out here. I got. I see one. I see two. Uh, where's who? Who are we missing? Where's Pigweed? Hmm? Where's Pigweed? Come on! Come on! Come on out! Oh, you're playing a game, being silly. There we go. Got you all out. You're gonna probably butcher these corpses one at uh, one at a time since it's winter. Well, I don't know if the sinew would melt. I mean, melt. I don't know if the sinew would freeze. How's my healing fatigue? Eh. Well, you know what? Uh, while it's safe, I might as well actually experiment uh, at the negative effects healing fatigue has. I don't know. I don't actually know what it does. Uh, maybe it, like, causes pain? Who knows? I just, uh, you know, know that you're not supposed to overdo it. Hey, aphids. These centipedes are, are just hanging out now. Maybe I should, uh, devote time to their well-being. You know, uh, heal them a little bit? Maybe. I don't know how they became my, my eternal pets, but I'll accept it. Go avoid the fire, please. Oh, actually, uh, we need to put this over here. All right. Tie you down, tie you down. Tie I'm sorry, what? Oh, I thought they were grayed out. I can give them names. <laughs> Butcher... Uh, you know what? Eat first. High calories for a high activity day. And there we go. Butcher before I get frostbite kindly. Alright, now let's get the sinew. 900. Wow. Moss bags. Um, you know... Toxins. Uh, I don't know. Would the powdered egg work? Well, you know what? I feel like I can make soup out of powdered eggs. So I'm going to see if I can powder these wasp eggs. Really? These don't count as eggs? These eggs, you can't put them in the smoker? Whatever. Uh, anything, uh, the wasp thing and 900 sinew. You know what? I'm going to make socks, too. Oh, wait, uh, hang on. Powdered eggs. Ooh, aluminum powder. Oh, I have ingots, right? Powdered egg. There. Nearby fire. Smoker, smoker, smoke. I see. That's fine. Powder. Egg. Why can't I make the powdered egg? Powdered egg. Charcoal smoker. Wait, you, but you just said that I... Egg. You just said I can make it into powdered egg. Wait, huh? Are you sure? Powdered egg? Sorry? You have four wasp egg. Why can't I use those wasp eggs? I got wasp eggs here. Because it's frozen? 
The fuck was I supposed to do about that, huh? How was I supposed to... Wait... You... Man, whatever. Man, whatever. It went bad the moment I, I harvested it. Wait, I'm sorry, is my air talisman freezing? My air talismans are gonna freeze? My bones? The bones are gonna freeze? Winter is harsh. You do not know cold until your crafting materials are frozen and the prey that you slaughtered still warm is frozen by the time it reaches your kitchen. Ooh, seeing your kitchen, I'm a little hungry. Okay. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna practice my agility. Which you you would think would be like, you know, doing uh, flips, somersaults or something. And, and, you know, jumping around, maybe working out. No, nah, it's just uh, chanting to myself in my bed uh, until I become supernaturally agile. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how it works. Sorry. Uh, I wish you could follow my routine. Okay, bye.